Hey, welcome back to Middle Bay Farm. So things are coming along. You see the little corner I'm standing in here. We got a corner of the wall, so uh, or the wall, so that's good. I'm gonna do another small wall today. It is boiling hot. Like I got in the truck, it said 44 Celsius uh, in the truck. Obviously, it's not that, but it is 34. So 34 Fahrenheit. I don't know somewhere over somewhere between 90 and 100. I think um, Fahrenheit. So it's hot, but the humidity's cranked too, right? So that's really getting you. But, so uh, we're still gonna keep working, just not gonna go crazy with it. But uh, these here, thanks everybody for all the different ideas and everything. But uh, all it was a matter of was, I've, I've framed houses in the past before I joined the army. It's been a while, definitely though. It's been, I did it in the early 2000s when I first came out of high school, right up to probably 2005 or so. Uh, then I took frame in and I was, uh, I was at the cart machine for about 10 years before I joined the military. But I did a lot of uh, scaffolding, right? Because that's where the money was. So, but, but I did do some framing and I had, I'd done my frame and block and all that stuff. So I know how to frame. Uh, even th but what it is, it's since I haven't done it in about 15 years, I forget the little things that... Uh, you know, maybe I was, uh, when I was framing, I was doing more cutting or maybe I was doing windows or, or whatever for different times, right? Depending on where I was. But uh, but just the little things. Like I had my line chalked. I had that chalked. And just the stupid thing I was forgetting was the toenailing the bottom plate. If you toenail the bottom plate on the line, when you lift the wall, that'll hold the wall in place. And then me and Ashley would have no problem. It wasn't the weight of the wall. The weight of the wall was not the issue. The problem was we were holding the wall up too long when, when the weight, and then it's sliding on us because I was stupid not thinking to toenail it. So that was the issue, was that. Uh, and once we did that, and then, uh, you know, we, we, we would have got it up no problem if I had to toenail it. But that's just those little things that I forget since I haven't done it in a while and I'm just getting back into it doing this one. So it's coming though. We're getting there. But it's definitely having my dad here the other day though uh, was awesome because, well, he remembers some of the little things. So that's a huge help. And then just the fact that he knows how to build too. So I don't have to do all the cuts. Like I don't have to be cutting for the windows and running back and forth doing all the windows. I could just be framing up the the wall while well, he makes all the cuts and then he just sets them there so then we just work together really good it's the first time we worked together framing uh, and it went really well we actually worked really solid together because uh, we both uh, know what we're doing so it went well but it's coming along now so we're doing all right yeah and the reason why I didn't need like <laughs> I was just using the wench I was just I just wasn't I just all not thinking. If I had had somebody else here, or if I had kept still framing all along, then I would remember this stuff. But it's been a while. Uh, it's almost 20 years since I started framing, right out of high school. And then, yeah, for the first, uh, I still only did it for about five years or so, like off and on. So it's not like I did a lot, but I did take it, I get, took uh, my block and all that. So anyways, saying the same thing again. But what I'm saying is, it's just uh, uh, when we were lifting it with the Polaris and doing all these different things, that was unnecessary. If I had just remembered the toenail, we would have just put it up. That's why I built the wall in sections, and I should have just told myself that again, right? But I guess when you're not bouncing ideas off somebody here, like I'm reading comments, sure, but usually what's happening with those videos, because I can't upload those like today, say today, this video, I don't get them right that night always right so sometimes i'm already ahead of that comment unfortunately now sometimes i'm not so keep them coming i appreciate them because sometimes i'm not and i can i can use them if, if they make sense if they apply or whatever right but but a lot of times uh and that's still not the same as reading even if i was getting them and i do get some of them on time it's not the same as having somebody else here who builds and then you're both like you know, yeah, oh no, we'll just uh, toenail that. Or, oh, you know, say I was doing headers or something. Oh no, we'll just try that. Or you can bounce different ideas off each other uh, just uh, as you're going. It, it's totally different when you can do that. Anybody who actually builds out there, 
or does anything. Or if you do work on computers, or you're a propane guy, or you build tents, right? Just having somebody else there to bounce different ideas as you go helps. Instead of just like things when they're not there. It's helpful, but it's not the same, much better. So anyways, I think my dad's gonna come back Saturday, so that'll be nice, we'll get some more done then. We should have these walls banged off because I'm probably gonna have two more small ones done. I'm gonna do, because then I'm gonna do, I have two eights and two sixteens left to do. Or no, three eights and two sixteens left to do. Eight foot sections and 16 foot sections. So I, I will bang off uh, maybe the eights before he gets here and save the 16 so me and him can raise it instead of Ashley. Um, but uh, it will, it'll start flowing a little better now. It just takes my thinking cap. But I appreciate all the comments, all the help, uh, and all that stuff. It's a awesome community here. Lots of awesome things going on here. Love it. Love you guys. It's awesome. But today, oh, another thing is I have the trusses coming in a week and a half. I was just talking to the guy today, so I'm getting prefab trusses. I think it'll be worked out to the every two feet, right? It's 24 foot, so work out to 13 trusses or something, maybe something like that. But uh, they're going to be here in a week and a half, so the timing of that sounds about right because we'll bang these walls off, and then within the week, I'll throw in a couple of partitions, uh, which is a lot easier building. It's just smaller stuff, and it's not sheathed or nothing, it's just frames, so it's a lot easier. But I'm gonna, I think that's all to catch up on right now. I'm gonna get to work today and throw up uh, at least one more wall and go from there. All right, so we got uh, this here little eight foot wall frame. There's gonna be a 16 over here with the same size window here and uh, and a door for the side there. We're not gonna do that right now. We're just gonna sheath this here in. We get it all squared up, it's on the line. We get this board all toenailed. So then we lift it, it's easy. It actually stays. The mistake I was making on this one. And that's all that has to be done. It's very easy after that. With sheathing, doesn't matter. You don't have to have it unsheathed because it's a lot harder doing it with no sheathing. So, they're like later. It's a lot harder trying to put sheathing on it. So this is the way to do it. Anyways, I got, uh, it's all squared. I got a, got a tack there, this top plate, just a small nail to keep it squared while we put it on. I'm gonna just throw that sheathing on and lift it. So one thing that I should have done is, uh, just extended that over this here so it could go on this face of this one. Now I'll end up just having a piece there. Just uh, didn't, whatever. It's just gonna have a piece there and the tie back will wrap it all in anyway. So.
That's about all I'm gonna do today with that wall. Uh, yeah, she is hot as all get out here. So we got lots of time to build these other walls. Uh, I don't know if I missed that earlier because of the stress is coming in a week and a half, so we got lots of time to finish up those. Uh, so I'm gonna call that because uh, this week's blazing. It's supposed to cool down. I mean, not so be hot, but not like it is right now. The humidity's crazy and stuff. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get some other things done. We will see you in the next one.